So I reviewed the Grease Trap a while back and although within my initial testings I wasn't using the weapon right, but even using it right I still think it's one of the most underwhelming weapons from the latest Revenge of the Cartels event. It's just in my opinion a gimmicky weapon, just put into the game to add to the numbers. Well guys, today I bring an actual use for it. Surprisingly, it's actually good for something. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also guys, before we go any further, for all your gaming needs, no matter the platform you play on, amazing prices and incredible weekly discounts, check out G2A, linked within that video description. So the grease trap I'll admit, playing with it within co-op, one person greasing, the other one setting enemies ablaze, is quite fun and probably overlooked. But as a solo standalone weapon in my opinion it's nothing but a gimmicky weapon. I mean you wouldn't pick this over many many weapons this game offers you, you just really wouldn't. But actually what's been found is an actual use for it, something it's great for, and that is farming that money. This thing allows you to farm money at a crazy, crazy rate. You guys remember the level 1 infinity pistol money battle farm? Well, you use this the same way in that grease mode and you spawn yourself money unlike anything else. So firstly, you need to get yourself a low level version. Now I say low level, I mean within my testings anything below 30 is not too bad. But the lower the better obviously. And this can be done very, very easily indeed via farming the Villa Ultraviolet and no sub bosses. This is something I've covered a number of times, which I'll link within the video description if you do want to check it out. But it is as simple as this head to Villa Ultraviolet, and all you have to do is find and farm two sub bosses who drop the weapon. Those are the Roaster and the Tenderizer. So if you get either of these sub bosses, when you get to that Joey Ultraviolet fight, simply spawn in a second account, create a new character or use any low level one you've got and just leave it idle while you kill either of the sub bosses on your first character. Once done, do not kill Joey Ultraviolet, just bring that second account into the arena and check that loot to see if you got the weapon. If not, quit your second character out and on your first character either kill yourself or fast travel back to the start and run back here and simply rinse and repeat the process. Now if you get to the Joey Ultraviolet fight and the sub bosses ain't the ones you need, quit out and load back in. By the way, you can use this method for whenever you encounter these sub bosses, anywhere on the actual Villa Ultraviolet, or if they spawn in anywhere else with cartel enemies, you can do it there too. Now, once you obtain what you need, the best place to farm money and find those money barrels is no doubt the Wayward Tether Proving Grounds. Within the first place of this, you get literally six or seven money barrels, or even more, and in such a short period of time too. Just try your hardest not to damage them though because if you do, when it comes to you shooting them they won't last anywhere near as long as they normally would. But yeah doing this you will earn crazy money for sure, way more than that in Infinity Pistol as within this grease mod in the grease trap shoots multiple shots per shot. Ammo the vending machine is literally feet away from you too so you don't have to worry about that at all. And yeah guys, a fast and easy way to earn money, more importantly the grease trap actually good for something. Now before we end, credit to Hippocus for bringing this to my attention. So yeah guys, enjoy this while you can, and get the grease trap while you can. On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.